Hello, I am Ken Rasmussen, aka Zelia. I play on Team Dignitas. Uh, last year I played Offling, and now it's the support. I'm Poik, and I play for Team Dignitas. I'm JPL, player for Team Dignitas. I'm Wabi, and I play for Team Dignitas. Welcome! What a surprise! Here we have it. Boom! The battle station. The absolute best part of the whole apartment. The plant. Actually insane how much it's grown. And I feel like every time we win an HZ match, a new like leaf pops up. Joshua Bennett, my in game name is Snitch, and I play Range Flex with Team Dignitas. Hello, I'm Snitch, and welcome to my apartment in Cologne. This is where the magic happens, this is my desk. One of the main things with this roster is like, we, we just had a feeling we were gonna have fun. I just love esports, you know, I love competing, I love playing. I've had so much fun, like trying to win and compete. I've always been competitive at spirit, you know, like, been playing badminton. With I was always like striving to beat my friends. Me joining Dignitas was insane. They were my idols. I looked up and I respected every single one of them. I used to be the guy watching in the crowd at like Gamescom, uh, JPL jumping in on Muradin, like completely reinventing the meta. Like, wow, look at this guy styling on stage. How does he have the 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 balls. Our team has been so hyper-focused on wanting to be the best, and I've had such a talented roster like around me. I think for sure, you know, we've definitely sacrificed a lot of time and work into being the best, but having the teammates that I do around me is very motivating for me, and it has made it a lot easier to, you know, commit to these sacrifices. Returning to BlizzCon after last year's failure. Has stuck New York and they have got the victory over Dignitas! It's exciting. It's the dream. Everything around BlizzCon is just so amazing. It's really just like the pinnacle of the year. Meeting the people and the travel. Yeah, so cool. I've never done this before. I'm super good friends with Rich and, you know, most of Genji, Sake, Kocha, Reset, you know, we're all very good friends, I think, because we've seen each other at so many events at this point, and we've had so many, like, sets against each other that we just have, like, this long-lasting, like, friendship and rivalry. We still see Rich in the middle. Here comes Johanna. The attack is on the wind tunnel. The Even though they won, it was a seven-game finals, and it went down to the absolute wire. It was such an incredible series to play that there was no way I could feel anything but like, you know, kind of adrenaline and, and gratitude in this moment for being part of it. What a finish! What a finish! Rich Galindez reset! They're trying to go for it! Is it enough? One percent! One percent! It's over! It's over! Gen G is the winner! It was a big, you know, punch to the gut. A horrible loss. And uh, in some way I think it helped us. Oh, we're definitely ready for, for Genji, yeah. Uh, hopefully, you know, we're gonna meet them in the final and this time take it. We're very close. We won the Western Clash on the Vita and so did they, like, who's gonna be the Titan, you know? Who's gonna be the Titan coming on top? The culmination, if we do reach Genji in that, you know, that peak point of the bracket, I think it would be very, very cool. Definitely, it's gonna be such a cool matchup. I'm actually very excited to play them specifically. I kind of crave playing them again, you know? It's just, it, everybody gets pushed to their absolute limit and you feel everybody making these crazy plays and like going insane in these like really refined line mechanical moments. And I think that sort of feeling and like the absolute rush of playing the game in its absolute top form only comes when you play against a team like Genji. So we're definitely hoping, you know, to, to get that rematch, to, to get the win. I really hope we can have a good showing, and I, you know, I get so happy just thinking about it. I think it'd be very disappointing to not win. So I think for sure, our eyes are uh, set on, you know, winning the final. We're we're looking strong. Last year was shaky, basically all year, but now we've been, whew, we've had a good year, and now we're really like hoping to to go out with a bang. Yeah.